Glory, glory, hallelujah. Mm, mm, mm. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. His truth is marching on. His truth is marching on. So hush, little baby, don't you cry. You know your daddy's bound to die, but all my trials are soon be over. That's just a wee praise to the Lord up above and the King Elvis Presley. Right, today guys, welcome back. It's Q&A Friday as always. I'll get through a few of these questions and I'll probably do the second, the second part will be tomorrow, sorry, before I go to the Flying Duck for the Vegan Fete and I'll have that up on Sunday as well. So the first question is from Julia Melody. How do you feel about comments like you look so much better? Well, yeah, same as you, that they, they can be very triggering. Sometimes that's the worst thing you can comment on with somebody, not even when eating disorder, but especially somebody when eating disorder. <laughs> if you tell them they look better, your anorexic part of your mind instantly tells you that you, that means you're, you're looking fat and it can be very, very triggering. I just don't know why people don't say something nice like, oh, your skin looks much better, your, your, your hair's looking a lot better, you, you seem to be... A, have good colour about you, you're glowing, you feel more energetic. Because the worst thing you can say to somebody with an eating disorder is that you look better. Even though you yourself want to be better, that anorexic part can start shouting at you and saying you're fat. It can be very, very triggering and then lead you back into a spiral, a restriction and all sorts of bad behaviours. So, yeah, that is that is something I, I have struggled with in the past. So thanks very much for asking that, Julia. I really appreciate that. The next question is from To My Own Beat. Where do you see yourself in a, in a year in recovery? What about 10 years and can I share any five top tips for recovery? Well, a year from now, I would like to see myself in really good health and repaired quite a bit of the damage it's done to my body. I know that I'll never be fully recovered from that because there's a lot of damage done to my body and that's what I would like to speak to people about and say it's very, very important you get early detection of your eating disorder and you seek out help because the longer you go with an eating disorder, the more damage it's going to be probably done to internal organs such as your kidneys, your liver and your heart, which I have had unfortunately. But the only thing I can do is I, can, I can't stop it for the, the damage it's done but I can prevent it from getting any worse and that's what I want to do. Also as well I would like to be growing my YouTube channel, reaching out to more people, helping as many people as I can with eating disorders and I've got a lot of things planned with the, the media for Be Eat. I'm speaking at Parliament next year again for the Eating Disorders Awareness Week and I've got a lot of things, uh, fundraising and things that I'll be doing for that and also my work with Cancer Research. I'd like to do a lot to help other people in that and just to be the best advocate at eating disorder recovery and the vegan lifestyle as well. And for 10 years from now, well, I don't like to look that far in the future. I remember my papa always telling me, don't don't look that far in the future, don't wish your life away. 10 years from now, I'd just like to be here and doing what I'm doing and help to have, to have helped as many people as I can and to be a good person, better myself every day. Every day I wake up, I try to be that, that, that bit better. I know that I'm... I, I really want to be a better person. I've got a lot of flaws, I, I don't deny that. And Each day and every day I want to be, be better myself and do everything I can to help each person. Random acts of kindness, help as many people as I can. That's what I want to do. My five top tips for recovery. Well, I've actually written these down, so bear with me in on this one. Number one is reach out, because that, that is the most important thing, is, is the most important one, definitely, is reaching out, speaking to somebody you can, let them know about your eating disorder, whether it be a, a family member, a friend, anybody you can speak to, even go online anonymously, you, we beat, things like that. You can go on anonymously, speak to people that suffer the same issue as you, 
and you'll get help. But the biggest issue is speaking out because that's what eating disorders thrive on is secrecy. And if you can take away the secrecy, you're taking away most of the control of the eating disorder. But early detection is very important. So reaching out, making that first step, the earlier you can speak out, the more chance you get of recovering from your eating disorder and repeat, like I said, limiting any damage to your body. Number two is actually regular eating. Structured eating, trust, trust in the clock rather than your body because your body's really starved and your stomach will have shrunk so you're not going to get those hunger cues with eating disorder brain because it they, they just won't tell you you're hungry. So structuring your eating by the clock every two to three hours, regular meals, free meals, free snacks a day and just keep focusing on that and getting in the nourishment. That is the next biggest important one. Finding a hobby, any for, form of creative expression, like I say, po poetry, journaling, your eating disorder, things like that, art, music, YouTube, whatever, whatever's going to be a good distraction and therapy for you, that is an important one and it, it's really, really helped me is coming on to YouTube, doing my art and things like that, my poetry and things like that, any form of expression that gets out what you're, you're feeling. It breaks the stigma and it also takes away, the, the, I say, the form of control that the eating disorder has over you. Number four is don't compare yourself. Don't compare your recovery to anybody else's. Everybody's recovery is different. Some are slow, some are fast. Some will gain weight quickly, some won't. Especially if you've come in, if you're anorexic and you're in restriction, you're, you're going to gain quite a bit, but you're not going to get to the same way as somebody that's got bulimia and things like that because their, their metabolic damage and things is all different. Everybody's different genetically wise. And like I say, you're going to have good days, you're going to have bad days. Don't feel down when you get bad days and look at other people and say, oh, how are they recovering so quickly and I'm not? Everybody's different. Your recovery will happen at a certain pace. But getting, going to bed after a struggle, a, a bad day, and waking up the next morning and choosing recovery and getting in there, that's you winning. That is you taking control of the eating disorder, so keep going with that. Number four is don't label food good or bad. That is an important one. Don't think about going, I say, and especially vegan, raw, raw to four, 80, 10, 10, high carb, low fat. Just eat to suck to your specific goals, any food that you can get in, the most important thing is calories, getting in good amount of calories, that is the most important thing in recovery, whether it be, just go, whether it be vegan cakes, anything, anything that you specifically like, focus on those foods, getting in the calories is the most important thing to your recovery, and don't put labels in good food or bad food, no good, no food's good or bad, all food is medicine for your body, and it's nourishment and it's what you need and it's all good in moderation like I say even when you have recovered having an odd cake each day and things like that it's not going to do you any harm it's going to do you good and it's important with your eating disorder that you keep focusing on that number five is to start a journal that is a really important one and one I do actually myself it's important to write down that all the things that you do you have suffered each day with your eating disorder and it's good because when you've had a bad day or You've had a good day you can look back at your journal and say oh where did i go did i fix things here and it helps you because you can compare things and it uh, helps you with your coping techniques as well so it's a really really good thing to do is journaling and also as well when you have done your journal and you can fully recover you can share it with other people and it lets them know the kind of things that you go through and it can really really help their recovery as well so thanks very much guys for those questions and I'll have the rest of the Q&A tomorrow. I've got some more questions to cover from Progressive Vegan and Erin Brave, and I'll do them in the video tomorrow. Uh, like I say, and that, that will be that one as well. I don't think I've got any more here that, I think that I've got, but that's the only... Yeah, that's only two. I've got another two tomorrow, like I say. But like I say, guys, remember, positivity, keep going, fight your recovery, you will all get there. Choose compassion, go vegan, and also remember, binge on life, purge negativity, starve guilty feelings. Speak to you all again tomorrow, guys. Thanks.